Welcome to this weekend's project. This weekend, a couple new things before we even get to what we're going to do. I don't have to scream anymore. My wife bought me an awesome microphone off of that Timu website. Guys, yes. they're not sponsoring this video in any way, shape, or form, but you guys got to check out that Timu website. I mean, yeah, they're not perfect. I've heard a lot of rumors of, you know, crappy stuff. But this microphone I just got, or that my wife just got me, it's $65, $68 on Amazon. Check them out. I'm not talking about the microphone. I'm talking about anything you guys are looking at. My wife been ordering. I was recording earlier. The delivery guy came and dropped this off. It's soft, soft stuff. I'm going to guess it's clothes. You know, women, clothes, you know. Yeah. I hope I'm not messing it up for her. Ah, oh, more stuff on the floor. Listen, point is, Check them out. Looks like you can save a buck or two there. Um, second thing, new to the channel this time. I'm sure you guys saw the little freeze frame action, you know? A little bit uh, while I'm recording, you saw it in the beginning of the video. That's something I downloaded a few weeks ago. I had never used it. I'm gonna incorporate a little of that just because, I don't know. Um, I like the fact that, you know, I've got a microphone that I don't have to scream at. You know, now I can lower my voice to a more sexy tone. Hey, that's an image you're probably not going to get out of your head. But that's not what we're here for today. Today, header panel. Yes. Yes, I have this ivory header panel that I've had off of this car. See that? Yeah. See how it ended up? This header panel has been sitting in my possession for 14 years. Okay. Uh, give or take a couple dozen years. Um waiting for a project just like this all i gotta do today is replace the header panel and remove pretty much everything just because it bothers me the whole point of this today is because i can't close this hood and not because the, that new header panel is there i can close it now but can't close it because well this beautiful section right here is pushed in about an inch and a half or so like i mentioned on the previous video and the help of that tool, together with that tool, you know, but what are you doing here? I am not painting today. Um, point is, I'm going to bolt this on there, and, you know, with that, and, <laughs> and bring it back to place. So, over there, put you over there, because if it stays here, it's just going to get hot, like, to the touch and that's my project today. i also had to my wife got a flat tire had to do that today but i find out that stupid mkgs i swear i don't know if you guys can see that on camera but it's just eating away at the tire um Uh, when I went through the puddle, I guess the puddle was more powerful than the plastic cover underneath, and it just completely just. Whoosh. Problem is, I can't lift the car on the ramps to fix the plastic cover until I replace the tire, because my ramps are too tall. And look, I'm not getting to that today. Let's concentrate on this, and as I always like to say, let's kick it to high gear.
go. All right, let's the parking brake. And let's turn off the car. Okay, so the idea here is to try things the soft way first. And if it doesn't work, then we proceed to horsepower, you know, with the car. But I want to refrain from that. I want to hopefully just, you know, and it'll, let's see. As long as these bolts don't give way, which I'm afraid that's what might happen. It's moving. I should get you in here. Let me let me get you guys in here. Now, before I continue any further, um, laziness doesn't pay. Okay. I did not strike the key. I'll stop the pull. Because the branch is strong enough. And hunting that trunk is a little bit more difficult. Notice it's kind of, you know, look what it's doing. Yeah. So there's a Hispanic saying that lazy people end up working twice as hard. Now I got to take everything apart. And, uh, you know, me and the mad scientist here have to report the intake and uh, weld whatever the hell Dominic Toretto said. Now, I feel like those bolts are about to strip, and I don't mean like get naked and dance for me. I, I mean, check this out. Doesn't look healthy, you know? Does not look healthy at all. I'm trying to figure out another way to, you know, bring this forward. <laughs> Of course, leave it up to me to forget to, you know, hit record, but I have eliminated this because, well, caca, you know, uh, won't do me any good. Uh, and I'm going to see if this works. I, I, again, limited tools. Uh, it's one of those things where you guys have to be careful. Uh, it's not dangerous at all. You know, change under tension, uh, 4,500 pound car, so, you know, not dangerous. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know that it's gonna work. Alright, let's try this again. Oh yeah, that bolt is gone. It's just too much for these little, tiny bolts. Um, it's impossible. This is one of those projects that you want to do at home, but I have failed. I have failed. You have failed this city. Now, guys, uh, this is not a weekend. Oh, sorry. This is not a weekend's project. Unless you have the right tools. This is definitely not a weekend's project. Now, I do have my friend with the body shop, the guy that has uh, done all the work on my cars in the past, which you guys saw with the Lincoln Town car. And he currently has my F-150 over there that he's working on. And in fact, one of the things he had to do was throw it on the, uh, you know, he's got these vent pullers and do exactly what I'm doing here, but in a extremely professional way. Now, the good thing is that it doesn't come down to its, you know, supposed to be. Dang it, I just wish I had a way to be able to pull it forward so we could proceed. But I can't.
Where is... I have another hood back there. I think this bent as well. I think this is actually supposed to go straight and not, you know, it's kind of like this when it's supposed to be like this. Let's go check that spare hood I have back there. Behind the shed somewhere. Is my spare hood. Oh, that's a spare F-150 hood. Where is that spare hood? Oh. Light bulb. Exactly what I was talking about. Straight as an arrow. I need to go get my, you know, and remove that. So, 100% this was, you know, this doesn't belong. It used to, but the moment it took a different shape, it no longer belongs. Put it back in place though and save it. All right, even though she's out of place, let's see if she... You know, she's not going anywhere. I mean, we're back to square one, definitely about an inch, inch and a quarter further in. So much I can do now. I'm at the mercy of my friend, which means that this car, I cannot work on until my F-150 is back. We have a, it's kind of like a pact. It's a friendly pact, one car at a time. So I'm climbing up to my attic. I'm gonna find up on the cooler. I haven't seen that guy since I filmed the video. Yeah, I never ended up taking it to the office. All right, so up here is where I should have a headlamp somewhere. I have a feeling she's far away. Oh, I see it. It's a driver's side headlamp. Great. Which means I don't have a headlamp to replace that passenger side headlamp for the car. Just great.
Okay. The whole idea is for me to have a car that's parked in my driveway that looks presentable. In fact, now it looks very nice. Um, in fact, the idea is I'm going to put this headlamp back on there. I'm going to kind of buff it a little bit. I'm not going to do the whole treatment sanding and making it look brand new again. Right now, I'm going to wait until I buy a passenger side headlamp to go ahead and do that with this one so they both look nice. Believe it or not. I am going to buff this, and I'm going to put some clear tape over this, so I can put the headlamp back on, protect the HID bulb that's in here, um, because, you know, I don't want it to get wet and end up getting ruined. And it also provides a complete front end. Um, I'm going to finish this up today and put this grill on here. Same thing, just so it looks somewhat normal. Almost. Relax. Relax. And then the final thing I do want to bring to your attention. When you are handling fiberglass, do not wear gloves. Do not wear long sleeve shirts. You're going to have to end up washing it once or twice. You know, and then having to toss the gloves. Instead, you're going to want to rub your skin all over it like I did and let it itch for like six weeks or something. You know, you're going to have to shower about 18 times before the itch goes away. But the job will be done, and you can at least tell people I work for Fiberglass, and that's something that you should be proud of. So, Yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. Rewind. Take a look at my uh, F-150 intake. That was itchy. Okay. So, I want, to watch, I want you guys to watch me finish this up. Um, again, keep in mind, it's temporary. So that I can have the car parked here the next month or so without having any issues. It's nice and clean now. Uh, I'm actually going to add some tire shine as well. So, let's finish this up. I failed. I'm gonna make her pretty right now. But I did something temporary to buy me the time that I need in order to be able to take her to my friend with the body shop and do what he needs to do so that I can go ahead and install what I need to install, paint what I need to paint, and have a beautiful car again. Um, I will tell you that she looks a whole lot better now. Let me, let me bring you in.
got to keep in mind what she used to look like just a few hours ago, okay? I mean, yes, she's an ugly duckling. Very ugly duckling. But uh, I see the potentials. I see the things that are going to happen. Um, and I see, for example, the fact that I was able to save that grill. I was able to do away with all the mold. It's got little imperfections. But considering the grill took a blow straight on, head on, that grill is very, very resilient. Headlamp, I did exactly what I told you guys I was going to do. Put some tape, started from the bottom up so that the tape overlaps and no moisture gets in there. Overall, I mean, I don't think it was a waste of a day. I, I think it was a very, very good day. Time for me to clean up. I've got my portable bench here, which I think you guys can see. I need to take all that mess up. I've got a pile of fiberglass that I'm absolutely looking forward to, you know, putting all over my arms. And I still have the chain and the strap, rack, club, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Uh, that I need to pick up. And you guys don't need to see all that. You guys can just you know, imagine it up here. I don't need to bore you with all that nonsense. So I think I'm going to leave it off right here. I wasn't able to do anything to that car like I wanted to. And yes, I know some of you are saying, well, what happened to the boat? Back there. That's tough to do. Problem is, I, mean, I haven't been able to finish it because I've got some light switches I need to, that I ordered that need to come in. I've got, what else? There's several things that I've ordered that haven't come in yet, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So I can't record until, you know, ooh, clear coat. Clear coat for uh, the cowling, which I'm also doing. Uh, the cowling for the engine. Um, I painted it. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm going to save those details because what's the point? We're talking about this car. Just know that the boat part four is still pending. And I promise you I will upload it. All right? So, guys, like always, I wouldn't do this without your support. I'm slowly growing. I, you know, I started a year ago with 25 subscribers. You know? And now I'm at 400 and change. Uh, a year and July, August, a year and four months. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for liking these videos. Thank you for the comments. And uh, don't forget. For those of you that are watching for the very first time, hit the little likey like it, you know, the little thumbs up right here. Uh, subscribe. That way, uh, you know, you're, you're part of the team, you're part of the family. And hit the bell icon. That way you're notified when the next video comes out. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.